Hello, everybody, and welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. We've got some people in the comments already, and I have a funny story to tell you before we get our special guest in, because he actually just came in just minutes prior to uh, airing, and that's because in the United States, we actually have daylight savings time, and we actually are ready sprung forward with our clocks but over in the united kingdom well it's a little bit of a different story where they actually set their clocks forward at a later time so thank god i got russell in right around two minutes before airtime and uh he's in the waiting room for us so uh let me introduce our special guest for today because that's what you guys are here to see he is the talented witty Funny, original, unique, brother from another mother, my good friend, Russell from the Mad Watch Collector. Yeah, I made it. I made you it. You made, made it, man. <laughs> Holy smoke. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it's not your fault. And uh, kind of a little bit of a deja vu from your uh, interview with uh, the Urban Gentry, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So I want to welcome you onto the show once again. You are, well, thank you, man. You are a recurring guest, and for good reason. Um, we've actually developed a really close relationship, even though we are – Miles and miles, miles, apart. miles. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I really cherish our friendship, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, as usual, honored. And uh, we actually have a request. We want to hear you say, "Arakanji." Wow, it's funny you ask that question, isn't it? It's funny. It's funny you ask that question. You got it. You got it. You got it. The Irukanji. So he's got it out of me. I have it too, but guess what? Yeah. I, I, I put it on a little bit of a different strap. You have, yeah, that looks yeah. very nice. And I'm gonna actually, um, I'm gonna talk about these straps a little bit later on in the show. So is I that, don't want to spoil it. Yeah, is that an official average show strap with the orange stitching? That looks like, doesn't it? I, I think so. It's kind of the branding going on. Yeah, with, you know, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, this way. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I have the. Uh, oh, there we go. The official flag of. The Mad Watch Collector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've taken it. It's my flag. It's sure now, right? It's my man. And I noticed you got the Philadelphia Phillies I've representing. I got the Philly flag. I am representing. This has kept me warm over the winter time. That's and, awesome, um, man. This was a gift from your lovely self, and so uh, I'm very grateful. Thank it's you awesome. so much for, for representing. I do, and I do have the the American football at the back as as well. Average Joe, it's at the back there. Oh Whatever. yeah. Whenever I want to toss that pigskin, I'm ready to go. That I'm ready is to awesome, go. man. The wife hasn't asked yet, though, but still. Well, I'm just going down the comments section here. We got some Hi, Glenn. Uh, We got some frequents here. We got Glenn. We got Chris. What's his name? We know. <laughs> <laughs> I only say that. I... He's a, that's a quality profile. <laughs> and, of course, we've got. Jan, how are you? Nice my, to see you. My fiance, um, and there you go. Oh, uh -oh. So, so, yeah, uh, apologies. It's 4 p.m., um, and I was in the middle of um, <laughs> cup of tea, cup of coffee time, and then I got a text from Average Joe saying, are you coming on, Matt? Are you coming on? So I went, shoot! So I, uh, <laughs> so I still got my coffee. That's um, awesome. It's here. It's here. I'm glad, you could, uh, I'm glad you could make it, and I'm glad you were on Instagram because I have no other way of contacting you. So. <laughs> We do. You don't do um, WhatsApp. Do you do WhatsApp in the uh, I, I don't. I, I really don't, man. Oh. Um, I don't know. I think it's more of a millennial thing. Are you? Would you consider yourself a millennial? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you do look like you could pass as one. I mean, oh, you're, you, you're man. still thank 21, right? Exactly. 21. Been 21 yeah. for 19 years. We'll, and we'll keep going with that. We'll Absolutely. Keep going with that. <laughs> so we got... Psycho Fu in the house. <laughs> He's a good buddy of mine. Hey, he's a um, top guy. Yeah, he actually purchased a watch uh, from eBay off me. Did he? What was yeah. it? It was my. Uh, it was a white Boulevard dial with the diamonds around it. He oh, loves. Yeah, it. very he loves it. So, so thank you very much, there, buddy. Cool. Uh, I won't. I, I won't even. I'll just consider you Psycho Fu. Um, I won't say your name. Uh, <laughs> Just, just you know, just in case he wants to stay private. Rock uh, the watch. Rock, rock the, the watch. watch. What's cracking, my friends? 
Uh, I want to wish Rock the Watch a belated happy birthday. I am a very oh, bad, birthday. very bad friend. Um, he's twenty one as well. Uh, I think he's actually. I think he just turned twenty two. Oh, so yeah, I think lucky. he's. A, I think he's a year older than you. So, <laughs> and we got Ken Spear. I Ken. always forget. I always forget where he's from. So I'm so happy that he he tells me where he's I from love every, the each time. Person. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't need to say that. Pitts Boyk. He's I a. Love he, that. He's a huge supporter of uh, of of us, and uh, yeah, he's a top I, guy. I want to give him a shout out. Uh, thank you so much for your loyalty and support, Joe, brother. Joe, I've never asked him actually. What are the three watches that are doing the loom in his profile? He comes up all the time. Do you know what those watches are? I have absolutely no idea. But he needs, I, he needs to I tell would, us from left to right. I would love to know that too because uh, I, we're we're loom guys, right? You love your loom. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I do love the loom. Absolutely. We got Adrian in the house. What's up, Adrian, from somewhere in the Adrian's high. there. He just reached 500 subscribers. Yeah, congratulations, Congrats man. on that, man. And he's on his way to 1,000. So, and uh, is that the Hulk? You got the Hulk in the background? Well, this is um, this is Wind oh, It on right the Move. right there, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is the Wind It on the Move, the Hulk and the Hulk. Yes. So I, I showed my support for his... Um, channel in his mug, and I spent forty pounds on an enamel mug. But um, still, I, 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 I'm representing for for Saki Bonwinder on the move, and he bought one of mine. <laughs> very, very nice, my friend. So we got fifteen people in the chat, and uh, <laughs> I think I think we should start talking watches. What do you think? I think so, man. Let's do. Yeah, it. that's what people came here for, right? Yeah. So first off, I want to welcome you to the channel. So I've, thank you. I just wanted to use that banner since I made it up. <laughs> and oh, I'm taking oh. it. I'm, I'm homaging your uh, your your little segment. No, that's fine. Get your, you Bob, get your Bob Ross out. <laughs> <laughs> you got your Bob Ross with you, buddy? I got him. There right. he is. What, what, what's he got to say today? Where's the wisdom? It sounds a little bit sexual. I might have to do another one. Right about there. Right about there. I love him. I, I actually love um after seeing the little bubble head that you, you have on your channel, I, I yeah, I just I just knew I had to have it, Joe, you know, and I love it. In actual fact, two years ago, because I, I love Bob Ross, my wife bought me a aim for Christmas. Do you see it there? It's called Happy Accidents. Oh yeah. Have you seen that game? It's quality. I mean, I have I've not. Never, I've never had it open. <laughs> but, but now, I, now I definitely would like to check it out. You need to check it out because it's brilliant for us drawers and us doodlers. I'm telling you, there's no such thing as mistakes. Just happy accidents. Happy accidents. Yeah, absolutely. Absolute, absolutely. Right. <laughs> you do a pretty good. Absolutely. Right. Absol <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, just going down some. I. I, I you know, with these chats, I love the interaction with the uh, with the comment section. So I definitely yeah, want to absolutely. give everybody their proper their proper due. So, and uh, we have watch reactions here today. Interested yeah. in hearing the thoughts on the notice? Uh, been seeing the brand name pinging around recently, and it's new to me. I know you have some uh, some experience with notice, correct? No, I haven't. Oh, you I don't? Oh. No, no, no. I I've seen it. I've seen the reviews. On, on some notice, on, I know Saki did a, uh, a one on his Wind It on the Move channel. They seem yeah. very good. They are Swiss, aren't they? They're Swiss watches. Yeah, I believe they're I Swiss they're watches. Swiss. Yeah. They're, uh, yeah. they're a very popular micro brand that they seem to sell out a lot, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're obviously, very, very good value for money. That's what they are. Yeah. Um, mm. I've heard nothing but good things about them, but I have, I have no experience with them either. So it's probably not what you want to hear, but. Being no, but I will. I, I'll look in. I will definitely at some time look into it, my friend. Definitely. Wristwatch weirdo in the house. What's up? Put the guns. Put the guns. guns in the house. Yeah, I won't. I'll just uh, keep mine to myself. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. what, what do you call yours? A pea <laughs> shooter? Is it a pea shooter? Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> now, we do have Matt, uh, Matt Stingray. Notice is awesome. Um, and then we have someone that also says that they never heard of notice. So, um, you know, I guess it's kind of a, you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you come onto these, these sorts of things and these live chats, you know, you will, um, you'll, you'll find out these new watches and everything so that these, these live chats are great. And these guys on the chat 
are great to bounce off each other on, aren't they? They're, they're fantastic. Glenn Reynolds wants to know, where did you get the Bob Ross? Mine, mine was on Amazon, Glenn, and he was Same. well cheap. He was well cheap. And um, I, you also get a, a, a box, like the one you've got behind you, and it comes with the little paintings as well, doesn't it? So it doesn't come with the flag, so I'll take that out. It doesn't out. come with the flag. But it does come with this. Oh, and it does come with the, uh, yes, you're flip, right. The little, little flip. It's yeah. got all his paintings in it. Yeah, that's super. Well, not all of them, but it has a good amount. <laughs> He's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Janny Eileen actually got this from me, my fiance. Aww. So, guys, uh, that's actually an announcement I want to make. This is going to be one of my giveaways, not this particular one, but I'm going to be giving away a bobblehead Bob Ross. So, you need to subscribe to the channel, click the awesome. notification bell. And I'll be announcing the giveaway of this. What a very, giveaway. Very soon. Whoa. Absolutely. 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 I, I also have another giveaway I'll be announcing later on. But I just wanted to, since we're talking about Bob Ross. Uh, but I also, for those that don't know Russ, that aren't subscribed to my buddy Russell, the Med Watch Collector, I invite <laughs> you to do so. I love your new uh, banner on your YouTube, uh, especially the uh the saying where it says uh light-hearted watch reviews yeah like how it's youtube channel or something yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly but your your brother did an incredible job he he is a he is a talented young uh fellow definitely he's um obviously i haven't got the looks but uh he's got the um i got the looks from uh mom and dad and he got the offshoot he got the brains <laughs> and uh <laughs> Uh, no, he's very, he's a graphic artist. He's very, he's very talented. Absolutely. And, and you had him on your show. Had him on the show. Yeah. yeah. He, he um, showed us his massive Hamilton collection. Um, he, he's, he's obsessed with Hamilton. I'm a big fan myself, but um, as you know, when SWC released their bunker, um, mm, yeah, I yeah. had to be honest, man. I had to yeah, absolutely to where, where it was due. Yeah. I, I actually still have it. Don't tell them. Don't tell anyone. Oh, I know. I know. I, uh, well, they're probably not watching anyway. So, <laughs> but here it is: the SWC, yeah. and I actually pitted it up against my Hamilton khaki. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to check that video out, it's definitely um, a fun one. Uh, check it out on my channel, Average Your Watch Reviews. There's a reason why those watches at the minute are very hard to buy, aren't they? Those SW. Yeah, See, they're, they're, they're that they're that good. I mean, yeah. there's not a bad angle on this watch. It's, no. it's a titanium case. It's got wow. Let me see. Um, it's got eight eight layers, six layers yes, of air, yes, got, something I mean, like that. But sixteen awesome. layers of super luminova. I love the color. Light. Yeah, I love the color of the the indices and the numbers. What is that color? It's like a it's like a peachy. Is it like a peachy color? Like a faded peach? It's like a faded, it's, it's almost like an antique white, but it's got the orange, it's got the orange outlining it. So that's what gives yeah, it that, yes, that look. Yes, it's such orange, a good. orange tip second hand. It's awesome. And just an amazing, they did an amazing job on this bunker. For yeah. under 500 bucks, you can't go wrong, man. One no, of the best no. field watches in my opinion. It's very cool. Uh, looks like you got a sub here. Black oh. Hat Valet. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry, Pale I clicked the wrong one here. <laughs> um oh th thank you very much my friend thank you i uh, appreciate that obviously i would i would check out my videos before you've um subbed because what i don't like to see is the unsubbing what about you joe you know <laughs> um, well, let me tell you something as a brief <laughs> <laughs> sub I, I don't subbed. usually like to talk about the negatives but um i mean I, I, i'm lighthearted about it i mean just recently over the last few weeks i've gotten a lot of hate yeah, and, and you know that too. I mean, you got you got a real hateful comment recently too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, you kind of just take it with a grain of salt and you move on. I mean, look, not everybody has happy lives like we do, right? Exactly. So exactly. I, I thank the Lord above that He's blessed me with a great life, and I pray for mm -hmm. those in my comment section that are going through a rough time and they feel the need to want to yeah. lash out on me. Yeah. I mean, I get, it's better than kicking the dog, right? So, guys, if you're gonna go kick your dog. Comment below and give me a nasty comment instead. I would I would much rather you do that because I can I can take it. We'd definitely much rather you do that than kick a dog. Definitely, um, kick us. That's fine. You know, it sounds, I mean, like a it sounds like we might be making a T-shirt here. I don't know. 
yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I would say, um, listen, if, if we if we couldn't take the um, the stupid abuse, just the, right. the the not really thinking and and not really, we don't like we, we don't mind criticism when it's constructive or exactly. there's a reason for it. It's just right. when you when you I don't know. It's it to me. It's just like it reminds me when I I make music. And when you spend and you put your heart and soul into a song and someone first five seconds, they'll say, nah, it's rubbish. And it's like, Oh, but just, just, mm -hmm. just taking what we've done. We've taken our time to do this. Just, just, you know, just appreciate what it is first. And then tell me why you don't like it, you know? Right. And, um, and I'm not going to be for everyone. Average Joe's not going to be for everyone. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. Move on. And, um, and there's plenty of awesome people that um, I love interacting with. And um, uh, I'm, it's one of the best things about having a channel. Well said. Um, I have people disagree with me all the time. And let me tell you, I learn a lot. I learn a lot from the comments, but <laughs> you, you got to be kind. You know, if you do it in a respectful yeah. manner, we have a very healthy dialogue, you know, yeah. in the comments yeah. section. But man, when you're nasty, I just, yeah. I, I just I mean, won't respond. Absolutely. I mean, I... I, t I tend to try and kill him with kindness. That's what the, yeah. my wife said to start with. That's what you should do. Because I'm not, a, I'm not a hateful, but I don't want to send um, something back. What I did do is I, I, I put it out on Instagram, didn't I? I put did. one of those posts. Yeah. Um, uh, from I can't remember what it's now. Igor. Um, but um, yeah, he said something, and I and I sent him something nice back. Right. And the, and it, and it was even worse, even worse reply back to me. Of course. And, um, what I shouldn't have done, I. It's not like me to show people and to, and I, I right. do you know what I mean? I, I shouldn't you're, have done you're, that. You're human. You're human. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I've had some human moments. I mean, I know yeah. that I preach all the time. It's always time to be kind, but look, I'm human. And there's times <laughs> where, you know, I get upset and, yeah. you know, stuff happens and you reply. But um, I think, I think the best reply, you got to kill them with silence because yeah, are they going to reply to their own because then they look like they're just talking to themselves right oh yeah exactly you know so exactly. i just, i mean I, yeah i i i felt a bit bad because i i i felt like i was inciting people to go on this guy's uh, uh channel oh, or, or right. whatever and yeah. do you know what i mean i didn't like that i didn't like what i yeah i didn't like what i become so look you, li you live and you learn brother you know what i mean but it's, it's, it's human to feel that way, and, and we all get it. We all get hate, and that means uh, that you're doing something right. So welcome to exactly. YouTube, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. So we got a question here from the Black uh, black Hat Valet. Is this stream a regular thing? We try to, don't we? we, we, we once a month. One, yeah. Once a month. I think yeah. we've kept it pretty consistent since, uh, man, December? Yeah. Yeah. When Maybe was our first, our first one was um, – can't remember when the first one. It was, was. definitely in twenty late twenty twenty. Yes. So, yeah. so, so the answer to your question is: we try to do it once a month, and what we do is we flip flop on each other's channel because yeah, we, uh, we do a flippity flop. We really enjoy each other's company, and we we just like the fact that you guys uh, join in. So, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's an opportunity for me and Russell to uh, talk once, at least once a month, face to face, and hopefully it gives you guys some entertainment. So, thank you for joining. Joe, just before you go on, just check out Ken's yeah. comment. Um, I think. <laughs> check see. out Ken's comment just below. There you go. That's Left to right. right. Here we go. It's a, oh, you should have known that, um, Average Joe. Laco type B. Ooh. I do, yes. Um, NTH Barracuda. That's a very good. That's a okay. very cool watch. All right. Oh, look, and the Nodus Contrail. You should definitely have a chat with Watch Reactions, Ken. So the Nodus looks like it's got the... The best loom of the three, if I'm not mistaken, is that is that the way it looks to you? Well, I'm I'm going from left to right, so the left is the laco, or is that? All right, so I'm wondering, like, I mean, I know my left, <laughs> and my right. Let's let's. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it just it just doesn't look like it does. Right? Well, the All only right. the only thing I we can guarantee. <laughs> no, no, no. What we can guarantee is the middle is definitely the NTH Barracuda. All right, I got um, you. So that's that's the definitely. No, one. no, I, I think I think you are right. The the Laco looks like it is winning the uh, Lumor in the thumbnail. So yeah, I think. Yeah. All right. Thanks for sharing that, bud. Thanks, Ken. Thank you. All right, I need to catch up here. We're a little bit behind here. Let's see. <laughs> 
Josh is in the house. Josh is in. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. You always get someone saying that. And um, what's his name again, Joe? I forgot what. Thank his, you, Black Hat. Forgot what his um, name was. was oh, uh, Cripperino. Yeah, Cripperino. That's it. Yeah. Can you, yeah, Cripperino. Yeah. <laughs> uh, boo to the negative Nancy. Boo, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I quite, I quite like him sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Watch reactions. You, you made your first. Okay. Gotcha. Joe, Joe, right. what I've had is um, I, what I have continuously after the first day, I always get one dislike. Now, one, oh, I don't. Yeah. One, I don't know why there is a dislike button on YouTube. I don't right. know why they have it for for one. Because if you don't like it, you know, you you comment or whatever. I mean, why why put a dislike? But there is someone out there, some content creator or someone that just doesn't like the MWC, but is subscribed to him. So, so that's a bit funny, but there you did, go. Did, did you notice they have a thumbs down in the, like the comment section, but yet if you click the thumbs down, it never shows up. No. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't get that one. No. You know what I mean? No. So, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I think YouTube should be filled with positive positiveness. And if you don't like it, it's kind of like television, just t change the channel. There's plenty of watch reviewers to go around, so. Yeah, well, the beauty with uh, YouTube is is that you can actually, I can't interact with my favorite show. I couldn't interact with Game of Thrones. I couldn't interact with, you know, I can interact with the likes of you on your channel. This is the amazing beauty of YouTube, you know. To, mm -hmm. And uh, what I've found is the, ha the haters, most of the time, when I'm kind back, is they'll subscribe. They'll subscribe to me. They just wanted me to... Um, to, to to I think it was almost clickbait sometimes when they when they give the right comments. Oh, he always oh, he's always replied to me, but yeah, okay. you know I every video I have I get that one thumbs down immediately. So we all have that, yeah. Um, and and it's like a it's a running joke, but amongst us, right? Like we always have that one guy that's got to give us that <laughs> thumbs down on every single video, and I don't even know what I did to piss the guy off, but. Quite honestly, I like to spend more of my time on the positiveness. You know, yeah. all of my loyal supporters, I want to thank you guys. And that's why, you know, I like to run these giveaways because it's it's just my way of thanking you guys and for for just being a part of the Average Joe Watch Review family. So cool. So let's do a wristwatch check. We're a little bit late, but I want to get everybody into the party. So what are yeah. you wearing today, my friends? Go for it. Are you um uh are you talk, you're not are you talk to me, Joe? Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry, yeah. So I am indeed wearing the Irukanji. Um the amazing micro brand. We are micro brothers. Um, yes, sir. Because uh Average Joe has the um what do they call the the purple? I can't remember. Uh, tentacle? Tentacle, tentacle, tentacle. Tentacle purple? Tentacle purple. And I, I got that's the what reef, it's called. I got the reef blue. Love this watch. Love yeah, it. this is actually one of my favorite uh, divers uh, because yeah. I could actually switch it off with uh, my fiance. Um, I, I've said this before. It is a 42 millimeter uh, case diameter, but the bezel itself measures in around 38. So, yeah. so in my mind, it's a 42, but it wears smaller. So, Definitely. Yeah. 100%. So, beautiful choice, my friend. And today... I'm wearing something in honor of you, something something I actually want to lend you very Ooh. shortly, and that oh, is yes. the iconic Bulova, or I'm sorry, Accutron <laughs> Space View. Absolutely Sorry. awesome, my friend. Yeah, I <laughs> I absolutely love. I loved your your um, show in it, and um, I like what was the the lugs? Are they bow tie lugs? You called them? Yes, these are mm -hmm. the. Uh, this is actually a rarer model. Uh, yeah. Because it's got the the bow tie lugs on it, and I think that actually helps with the size as well. Yeah, um, this yeah, is a thirty four and a half millimeter watch, hmm. and you got your crown right here. Yeah, I love that. So you you basically I love just, how you do that. You pop it out and you turn it, kind of like a um, I don't know, like a soda cap top. Yeah, I love the um, I love the sound you gave it as well. You, you gave it a good bit of sound of, of what it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, that, and that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Like that. It's, um, Check that out. It actually does say Bulova on it, though. Yeah, because Bulova makes Accutron. Yeah. So, so what does it say? It says Bulova. That's all it actually says on there. It says Bulova on there. <laughs> yeah, we know it as the Accutron, 
uh, Space View. And yeah, well, yeah. Whenever, whenever I see, um, whenever I when I saw your show, but whenever I see you, you show it off. I'm always on eBay. Da, 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 let's have a look on eBay. You see, waterproof, that? waterproof, waterproof. This thing wasn't even water resistant when it was brand new. <laughs> so I think this is, a, if I'm not mistaken, this was the last model that they were actually allowed to put that on there. So. I mean, I wouldn't even sweat in this thing. That's how uh, afraid I am of getting water inside this case. So, wow. Um, but yeah, very, very cool watch. So, that's yeah, cool. Russell, I want to give you some props. Uh, today, we're talking about the Apocalypse watches. Uh, you did a really, really cool episode just, just recently. Um, and I wanted to share a clip of that, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, man. And uh, hopefully I don't mess this up. So I actually have to unplug my earphones in order for you guys to hear the sound. So hopefully this works. So you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Day one, log one of surviving the apocalypse. I thought I brought enough supplies. They're gone already. Even the cat food. The zombies are everywhere. Don't worry, I'm quick. I'm nimble. They can't catch me. <laughs> All right. So uh, that 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 was cool, man. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I I enjoyed doing that doing that video. I enjoy, I enjoy the little skits and the little clips and stuff. Um, the funny thing is, I got I overdubbed um, two two um, zombie zombie uh, noises that I did blah, 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 like this. And um, when so I funny. when I go when I go to stand up, it sounds like I'll do a a, a wind out of the uh, whoopee cushion. Yeah, that's a whoopee. Yeah. Um, it's actually not a whoopee. It's just the sound of a um, <laughs> zombie. <laughs> no. So did you ever see, uh, what was it called? The um, something, uh, ah, why am I drawing a blank there? But uh, it, was a, it was a movie, The Blair Witch Project. Oh, yeah. So that, that scene reminded me of that. And, and you, kinda, you, you did it very well. Um, very, <laughs> very dramatic. Uh, I must say, <laughs> you, 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 you definitely had me into the uh, into the scene there. So very, very yeah, well, job. yeah. I mean, I love I love the um, the cartoons and and then and then the shows where you know you know something's happening in the background, but you got to use your imagination to work out what's going on. And right. and uh, you sometimes that's even better than than the actual creation. And it would have been rubbish if I looked like a zombie. Jesus. So. Do you want to tell everybody the just give a little bit of a rundown of the show and uh, yeah, you know, so the watch that you had in there? So yeah, it was, it was basically how to um, the the best watch to survive a zombie apocalypse. Um, uh, it's a bit of fun, but um, it was all the things that I felt I needed in a watch. If I'm basically if I'm Rick from The Walking Dead and I woke up out of a coma, what is the one watch that I'm glad I've got at the bedside table that right. I can that I can strap on? And, you know, there was things like it can't be too heavy. It mm -hmm. can't be, you, you can't serve, it shouldn't be serviced because, okay. because, you know, no one's going to be around to service it. It should have unlimited power. Mm -hmm. um, it should be water resistant with a good lot of water resistance. Right. Um, it should have a stopwatch because, you know, everyone's got to have some fun. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, all these sorts of things. And also, can I use it as a weapon? Knuckle duster. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I should have used your skeletonized uh, oh, oh you imagine, you imagine that as a knuckle duster. Yes, yes. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, all these sorts of things, and I and I um, and you know, shock proof and everything else, just in case I have to do my karate on some uh, zombies. Uh, and my 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 thoughts. I mean, I came up with a. I mean, in 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 my in a in a you know in a traditionalist form, you want a you want a Hamilton khaki field mechanical you know you want to be traditionalist you want to have a mechanical watch but absolutely but they're not going to survive it's just not going to i don't know if it's going to survive <laughs> there you go look at that you talk about that 
They did not see me coming, my friend, did they, eh? To be fair, I didn't see them coming. Um, <laughs> um, I had another big, um, this is my Arnie, my Seiko Arnie. I, this was very close to Love that watch. Top. Very, very iconic. It would look awesome on your wrist, man, this watch. Absolutely. Your seven-inch wrist. This would this would be the daddy. Oh, oh, oh. Where'd it go? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, but I came, I decided that the G-Shock 5610 was was my pick, you know, because um, it's probably the best G-Shock I've had on my wrist because I only have a six and a half inch wrist and um, the size of it is brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it gives me everything. Just gives me everything. We have one vote for the uh, Citizen Pro Master Tough. Yeah, absolutely. I think Glenn actually come up with a, he, he would um, suggest that as well. I, I would imagine it's a, it's a, that's a very special watch. How about uh, how about you guys in the chat below? What what would be your apocalypse apocalypse watch? Uh, let's let's get let's, let's get some voting down here, and um, I'll actually take some tallies here. So we got one for the Pro Master Tough. Anybody else? For me, um, I think it's a no brainer, and I'm sure it's pretty. I don't know. It's kind of boring because I think gotta be a lot gotta be the Snoopy Timex, hasn't it? You know. Well, that that's <laughs> probably would be number two, but I uh, thought here. so. It's got to be. This guy. So let me, let, let me give you my, my 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 bull thesis here. Okay, so this is a solar power G Shock that is multi band. It is rugged. It's tough, and this to me is the ultimate watch to take along with you uh, during a during your run from the zombies. <laughs> Absolutely. And you can give them a little back jab and whatnot and not worry about damaging a G-Shock. So for me, <laughs> that would be my choice. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I, I, I'm coming around the negative display because that one might not have one now, but um, that one's um, got a negative. I'm coming around them. I think because I had the Casio CA53, the new renditions, the blue case, you could not see the time from looking straight at it. And I thought, what right. that blooming X going? But um, the G-Shocks that I've seen, they are very good um, with the negative display. The reason why I went with the one that I chose is because just little things, like it's got that little red frame around the screen. And that reminds me of the very first one that came out in 83. So right. it's the same color way. And I'm just a bit of a... Uh, you know, traditionalist type thing on that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's the same case as the one I chose. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, just going down here uh, with some of the choices here, we got a Victoronix Inox. Victorinox. Victorinox Inox. I I, um, I definitely agree that. That would definitely be used as a knuckle duster. I've yes. got one on both hands. Da, 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 da. Um, Good yeah. old brass knuckles with the, you know, oh. yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. And we got the GW500. Absolutely. Okay, we got a G Shock or your Arnie. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I this love one it. here. I like this one, the Sundial. <laughs> definitely. I think stab, stab, stab. Yeah, I think that's a great shout. Now, if you can make a Sundial that has Super Luminova, you might have a fan here. Uh, I need my Loom. So, you know, yeah. I got to be able to read it at night. But I guess you can always make a, a little fire, I guess. But uh, <laughs> let's see here. What else we got? Ball. Now, they make some pretty hefty watches. They do. Yeah. Um, we don't hear a lot about Ball. You don't. You don't yeah. hear a lot about them. Um, you know, I, I only really hear about them or see them on Josh's channel um, right. from the guys and girls that I subscribe to. Yeah, I, I Speak, don't see speaking a lot. of the devil. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Um, oh, Trap. So Trap Vision, he's a big Invicta collector. And you know. There's a reason why him and the watch corner get on then, huh? <laughs> You know, oh my word! You oh, know why? Get that, get you know that why I had, bottle cap. Here I, it is. I could not sell oh, this, so oh. I sold a lot of my watches on eBay. But I had to collect. Oh, there he is! Come from. <laughs> I had to. Uh, I had to keep this one. Ah, who cares? <laughs> um, this is the fifty-two millimeter. Look at it. This one, oh my you know what? God. This one might be a candidate for the uh, apocalypse uh, watch because I think I think it could bring on the apocalypse. This thing, 
The reason oh, why I have God. the guns that I have is because I used to wear this on my my left wrist. Look so, at it. So my left arm is actually bigger. My bicep is bigger on my right than my one arm. I have, I have never seen a watch stroke canteen in my in, in my life until I mean, I'm come there. on. I mean, guys. <laughs> You guys got to wake <laughs> up here. The field watches should have canteens on them like this Invicta guy. I should so, do. I this should is why do. I kept this watch. And uh, this actually could be a sun. I mean, it's as big as a sundial. Isn't it? I mean, you you, you wear your you wear your watches quite close to the hand, don't you? You, yeah. don't, you, don't, tend, you don't tend to have a, a bone like I do. I mean, how the heck did you move your hand around? Because that crown would have been right up against that. Let hand. me tell you something. There were a couple times where I actually had to bend my wrist real quick and it hurts. It, it shocks you. Yeah. It's, you it would reminds not you, if, if you don't already know you have this big chunky thing on your wrist, okay, wow. there's nothing like trying to get up and like, Oh wow. That just hurt. Yeah. I'm and, wearing yeah. a watch. Ah. Now if yeah. they put the crown on the other side, which they, Victor does, they do, they, they call it the lefty. Uh, yeah. Wow. That would be a much better, or if I just wear it on my right wrist, which just feels odd. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's for you there, uh, Trap. Uh, I'm again. I'm behind. I'm, I'm, he, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you guys. No, no, are that's, 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 <laughs> he he actually, um, uh, Steve at the watch corner. He he's got an, a vintage um, Invicta, and they are lovely. Yes, the, the vintage ones were. You know, they were proper. Proper, proper, you know, respected, you know, not that they're not respected now, but they're quite um, uh, heavy marketed, heavy advertised, heavy discounted. Um, but back in the day, they were a, a serious, serious brand that everyone definitely took um, seriously, you know. And it's a shame. It is a shame um, that um, I see Invicta as um, uh, Submariner, you know, homage company do you know what i mean um more than anything which is a shame because i need to look into their history a bit more yeah so uh, you know I, I had a suggestion which look you know i'm just an average show here but i think if invicta did a a throwback a vintage version a vintage line of their watches because some of their vintage pieces are actually really beautiful um, yeah very nice very, very traditional mm -hmm. uh traditional sizes and just traditional looking dials. Um, yeah. Now I have to admit, I'm not an Evicta fan myself, but let's be honest. If you're a watch connoisseur and you and you enjoy your Invictas, you're part of the watch fam. Otherwise, oh, yeah. you are what I call hashtag watch snob. So uh, <laughs> I, I do find I find Invictas fascinating, and I love I love looking at them, but. I, for me to own any more than what I already have here, which is just this one. Well, you're I, trying to get rid of it as well. But, I, uh, <laughs> I, I can't. I, I can't. You know what? I you know what? I don't want to get rid of it because I always seem don't, to talk don't, about it. Don't don't um don't give away the uh, the prize already so soon, mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got we got Junior in the house. What's going on, Junior, Junior Johnson? Uh the 1953. The um. So that's their uh, their diver. Uh, yes, that's so a really good looking. Yeah, good looking so it's piece. it's the nineteen fifty three Rolex Submariner homage. Yeah, but yeah, it's a, it's a it's a um, it is a very good looking one. But, but that's like one piece out of like many that they could do in regards to like their vintage. They could do like a vintage line, something like what Bulova just mm -hmm. did with the uh, the Frank Frank Sinatra line, and they also did yeah, the, yeah. a Bulova line where they yeah. actually had the bankers watches and all. And I did a video on that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really, they've cool. also done they've done the um the, the what was it the devil the devil dial the six 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 diver from the seventies they brought out I think okay um which is very nice it's got that sort of right. Seiko e type case the trouble is with Invicta if they was to bring some serious watches some watches that are taken from their back catalog from the old times it would be very hard for them to price it. Because we all know in Victor of this was four hundred pounds. Now it's seventy two. Was seven thousand pounds. Now it's forty five dollars. Um, it's uh, and 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 then then they come up with a watch that what's three three hundred pounds for this watch. Now where's the discount? Where's that discount? You know the, you you got all these people thinking what the that no, I actually want three hundred pounds for this in Victor watch, which they also sh sort of sh shoot themselves in the foot because of what they've done but who are who am i to 
to to say that they've done bad. They probably made an absolute killing with um, the business right. run. So, well, here, here here's a scenario for you, Russ. So you know how I mean, we were just talking about that with the MSRP. Can you imagine them actually doing the MSRP on their vintage line, where the original was only fifty dollars? But we're selling this one for three hundred and fifty dollars. You know, it's like the, it's like yeah. the opposite. You know, um, Justin EDC. I think it's a very good point, and I, I and I'm totally with him on this. To homage your own, yeah, your own brand is to me completely acceptable. Even clomaging your own is completely acceptable, but. It gets a little bit muddy when you're clomaging another brand, right? I, I I see what he's saying is there as well. Is the, the, let's take the Smiths Everest watch for example. Mm -hmm. That is a watch that is homaging a Rolex Explorer ten sixteen, and right. Rolex do not make a ten sixteen anymore. They I've got the I've got the latest the two one four two seven zero. They don't make that watch anymore, and you can't buy it new. So when someone wants that watch but can't buy it new. The next way to go is to buy a homage that that is almost cloning, but I can see where someone goes with, with that a little bit more than if I was to get the watch that I've just reviewed, the Pagani design that's supposed to be a, you know, is a carbon copy of a watch that is out already, right. you know? Um, what do you feel about this new Heimdaller, um, the Heimdaller Monster? Because as you know, the Seiko monsters, uh, they're you're gonna fetch a pretty hefty price, three, four hundred dollars yeah. and up. The Heim dollar <laughs> outspecs the yeah. monster, the Seiko yeah. monster, but ironically, the Heim dollar has the Seiko movement. So <laughs> I mean I know. this is I a know. really, really interesting scenario. And these these watches could be had for under two hundred dollars. I know. I I just don't know what to um, say in that. I mean, I I would always like to go for a a reissue of a watch from the brand that bought that made the first original. That's 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 just the way I am. I I come from I come from music a music background. Um, you know, and like I said on my last show, it's like me listening to a someone covering a Beatles song. Right, it's like read a freaking yeah, Jesus. Yeah, um, it really does sort of bug me. Just come up with your own music and your own songs. Um, but I, I, I love inspiration. I love that's because you know you can't. No one can come up with a brand new watch anymore. Because if you come up with a brand new watch that has ne never been designed, no one's going to want to want it. Right. Um, so we 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 all, these watches are a past um, tool that no one really needs anymore. But when they were in their pomp was the 50s and 60s and the 30s and the, and the 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. And, and that's what we want to hark back to. We want to hark back to watches that sort of inspired by that era because they were really reliable tools, you know, and, and that's why we really love them. You know, let's be honest, like 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 what you just said, the the, the 50s, the 60s, you know, like the, the 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 good old days, because I mean, look at the car industry. Yeah, you're seeing a bunch of homages, mm. but to their credit, they're homaging their own vehicles. Yeah. So yeah. you got the Dodge Charger, the Challenger, the Mustang, the Camaro. Yeah. These guys are coming out with not <laughs> they're coming out with original designs, but they're bringing back what was really cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So see, our brands, our English brands do not do that. Right. Um, any Brits, surely you can you can vouch for me. But I, I, I do not see Ford doing a Cortina um, or re reissuing an Escort. Um, no. These these were our these were our um, the, a Cortina is what my dad drove when he was, uh, you know, Cortina. he was a young bachelor. Never even um, heard of it. Not here no, in the states. No, no, no. It was a muscle car. That was the British muscle car right there. The Cortina. Oh, nice. Ford. <laughs> what, just 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 a one second off topic. Uh, what 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 would be a cool uh, cool car over where you are at right now? A cool car? God, that's a that's a great but, question. Or should right? I say, what, what's a popular car? Like over here, you know, if you're driving a BMW, or yeah, it'd be, Mercedes, it'd be, it'd be an Audi, probably an Audi. Okay, you know, Audis and yeah, uh, yeah um, 
Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not massively into um, cars. I mean, I do appreciate them. And I, you know, with the job that I do as a tennis coach, I've, I've, you know, I've seen a lot of cars and I've, I've sat inside a lot of Lamborghini. Teslas. Yeah, I've sat in a lot of um, high, high end, high end um, cars, Porsches and, and stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know what would be the, um, the most popular car. That's an interesting one. Yeah. We got we have uh, Lucian in the house. Uh, Hi, Lucian. What's going on there, bud? Um, his name actually means light. Lucian. Yes, yes. And uh, he actually lights up a room whenever he smiles. So I just want to welcome him to the awesome. channel. Thank you for uh, dropping by. Uh, we have Ju uh, Jeffrey. He was thinking the Heimdall is a modding platform, although the red is sharp on its own. Oh, mm -hmm. we're getting off topic here. The Mido Ocean Star and PVD Rose Gold on the way. Not usually my type, but I'm excited about it. Do you know anything about yeah, that one? I, I know Mido as a, as a brand, but I don't know about yeah. the Ocean Star, but I will definitely have a look. PVD always worries me because it. I always feel like I'm going to scratch it if off. If you scratch it, then you'll see the, uh, um, the underneath. Yeah, uh, Glyn, Glyn I, it's not a Cortina, it's a Capri. So, Capri, um, gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the Capri is the Mustang of British uh, 60s and 70s cars. They finally have <laughs> Mustangs over there. So you guys have they Mustangs do. now? They do, oh, yeah, you wow. can buy them. They are very expensive. Uh, that's one of my goals is to, well, one of my all-time goals, my bucket list is to drive on the Never Eat Shredded Wheat West Coast um, in a Mustang Okay. Uh, in America. Convertible? Oh, yeah, convertible with um, I mean, just, the, you know. It's the only way to do it, man. I know, man. That's um, definitely what I want. Over here in America, everybody and their brother has one, which is why I didn't want one. But, that horse, <laughs> though. It's something about that horse logo. It's, it's so it, cool. It, it's it just it's it's good old Americana, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. All right. So I wanted to get into... Ready? Here we go. The Casio Whoa. Chronicle. Have you seen it? Have you? Your Casio Anybody? Chronicles? <laughs> yes, of course we have. Anybody in the comments, have you seen the Casio Chronicles? If, if so, <laughs> please please let me know because as you've noticed, I've been on a Casio Chronicle click uh, click lately because um, – kick. Casio Chronicle kick lately because I put so much time into that, uh, that miniseries that – I'm just, you know, just trying to share it with as many people as I can. So if you don't mind, Russ, I'm going to play the, yeah. I'm going to play the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the trailer. There we go. The trailer oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Cassio Chronicles. So do it. All right. You ready for this? I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this production already. Oh, look at that. Let me do this again. <laughs> I don't know why you don't use that more often this start. That bit is cool. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's, when you won't, that's when you won't get any sleep. <laughs> wow. It's loosely based off of a true story. <laughs> <laughs> I got to plot my revenge on sleep deprivation. <laughs> wow, look at this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Love it. Good soundtrack. So, Sounds good so, as well. So for those that haven't seen it, uh, please go check it out. Uh, give me some love. Um, I, I, I put 30 plus hours in each episode, so uh, I'm trying to... Uh, Trying to get as much love out of it as possible, but yeah, that's the, cool. The, the plot behind it was pretty much, as I said, loosely based off of true events. I just had you saw baby Madison there, she was she looked a lot younger there, right? I mean, mm. she had the short wow. hair and everything, but um, it's essentially, 
essentially how tough a blooming F91 is, isn't it? F91 is, right, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was always supposed to be one, one show. And I figured after I was done boiling it, it would be done. But not, <laughs> not to spoil the entire epi- uh, miniseries, but uh, this is a tough watch. And the fact that I could make five episodes kind of sp- gives you a little bit of a spoiler that uh, this is a tough watch. And I went to some great lengths, right? right, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to, to kill this bad boy. So, um, yes. I mean, and, and, not, and not your normal things that you'd find around the house either. I mean, you, no, you go, you go uh, to some. There was one point where I had to go to my mechanic, and yeah. he's like, uh, "What's wrong with your car now?" And I'm like, uh, "No, <laughs> not not this time, buddy. I need you to kill this." Exactly. And, uh, how so much we... did he? How much did he charge you for that? I mean, <sighs> you know, surprisingly, surprisingly, I actually gave him a thrill for his Monday that he's just like no charge. <laughs> like I haven't had this much fun in ages. So uh, that's cool. Yeah. So in that episode, I think we did. We might have finally killed it, but you guys are going to have to tune in to find out how it finally died. And I think that was episode three. So, uh, so Josh, <laughs> Josh saw it. Thank you, Josh, for your for your support there, buddy. Uh, watch reactions. Definitely check it out, my friend. Great stuff. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm, this is my way of patting myself on the back here. Sorry. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Absolutely fine. But thank you, just, uh, uh, Justin EDC. Appreciate that, brother. And uh, oh, we got someone here. Is that crying or laughing? <laughs> laughing. There you go. Laughing. Another laughing. Yeah, great series. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Jenny Eileen, my fiance, makes her ap- first appearance on my channel. Uh, she gets so pissed off that I leave my watches around the house. And again, based loosely on true events, because I <laughs> truly do this. Yeah. And I think I have left my watches on a windowsill at some point. So, again, true. I have. Yeah, I have. So, she had baby Madison in arms, and she's like, what's he doing leaving his watches on the windowsill? And and she just flicks it out the window. And you see me. (laughs) I'm, like, outside wanting to shoot the the, the watch with the BB gun. And I'm like, no. (laughs) You guys got to watch it. It's it's, it's fun, man. Yeah, it's good fun. Uh, It's great. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Enough enough sep. Uh, enough self-deprivation here, or de- whatever you want to call it. I'm done, <laughs> done patting myself on the back. So, all right. So let's go into the next part, which I don't have a next part because me and you, we usually mm-hmm. just kind of just roll <laughs> off. But no, I actually, um, you guys came here. I think some of you guys came here for the giveaway uh, announcement. Yeah. So if you guys missed it earlier, I'm giving away a – Bob Ross bobblehead. So you definitely want to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell because that's going to be the only way you're going to find out how to enter to win that. But here's another one I'm going to be doing very shortly. And this is actually sponsored by IWantAStrap.com, formerly known as, um, uh, you know what? I forget what his name was before, but his name now is IWantAStrap.com. It doesn't matter. You don't know what it is. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to confuse you. But what you get here is you're gonna cool. get you're gonna get a it's still sealed. I haven't even opened it, and I'm not gonna open it. But you're getting a sailcloth strap, Very and nice. you're getting a leather strap. So this is gonna be, uh, I don't know, valued just around sixty, seventy five dollars, something like that. Cool. Uh, so that'll be for you guys. And this is actually the strap in person. So very nicely done. Yeah. Uh, and they're rivaling the. Artem straps, which I'm going to be putting out a review, and I'm going to I'm going to be pitting the I want a strap.com versus Artem sailcloth. So mm-hmm. you definitely want to stay tuned for that. What do you think, Russ? I mean, you got Artem. You you actually own an Artem sailcloth strap. I do. What, I have two. What, what's your opinion on them? I I love them. I absolutely love them. That yeah. in my opinion, they are the best aftermarket strap I bought. I, I, you know, and okay, here we go. I do have one here. So this is Artem, and this is I want to sail cloth. Yeah. So I mean, I think you can even see the differences on camera. I love what Artem did with the padding. Yeah, I love the padding. I don't usually love padding. Yeah, I don't usually love it. Um, but, but it, um, it's it's super flexible though. Yeah, right? it's so flexible and comfortable. It conforms to the wrist. Yeah, and they also do this patented 
It's not it's not leather, obviously, because not, not, that defeats the purpose. Yeah, but it's it's, yeah. it's their patented material. They wouldn't tell me what it was for obvious reasons. <laughs> and not then, KFC. It's not yeah. <laughs> it's it's a secret, that recipe. It's a secret recipe. <laughs> but on the I want a sail claw or I want a strap. They actually have the same front and back. No padding. Yeah. So you guys will get my my comparison video dropping shortly, and I'll let you guys know. Is is this? I want a claw. I want to. Uh, I want a strap. Dot com sale claw strap. Are these worth half the price of what Artem charges? And is Artem worth double what that is? So yeah, stay tuned for that video for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I haven't bought too many premium aftermarket straps. I, I've always tended to go um, for the thirty, forty dollars, forty pounds uh, straps, like a collar red uh, leather strap or. Um, I think I would, I, I paid 30 pound for a NATO, I think before then. Um, but this strap actually, I never thought I'd take the bracelet off my, um, uh, Tudor Black Bay 58. Right. And, and I just said, right, I'm just going to do it. Cause I know it's going to look good. And it, it looks, it looked amazing. It looked amazing. And I've got it on my Fortis Cosmonauts chro chronograph, which, and that's, it's a bead blasted case. Um, so it's a dull silver and there's silver gray stitching on on this strap and it just it's just amazing it, i i said it in my review it, it 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 felt like what i imagined the spider-man outfit to um to uh, feel like if, yeah. if i was to touch it i remember that <laughs> i do i do remember that um so i'm trying to i want to i want to try to share a link here um so just bear with me for a second here i guess i'm not much of a multitasker because um I was trying to do that stealthy, but it's not working here. So I'm, uh, oh, let's see here. Let me copy this and paste it. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> you right. got an earthquake where you are, haven't you? Oh, yeah. You know why? Because like rumble. <laughs> you, you see that, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm working on the keyboard as connected to my webcam. Yeah. So yeah. now what I could do is I could actually maybe broadcast from my phone and keep it above here. And work on the keyboard so it's not ah, such a. It's fine. It's fine. So Hopefully, I'm not getting anybody it. sick in the uh, comment section. But um, <laughs> so we got, you know, we got a couple minutes left, guys. Uh, anyone that wants to ask any questions uh, down below, we'll definitely answer them. Russ is my Absolutely. special guest today, and uh, I have to, I have to admit, man, you, you definitely have your your channel is not a homage. It's not a clomage. It's a very, very original watch channel that I really. I really enjoy, and I think a lot Thank of you, uh, a lot of your fans do as well. Um, I followed you when you were right around two hundred plus subscribers, and yeah, I think I even said this to you way back when. I said, "Man, you are going so you're you're going places, my friend." And look where you're at now, man. Thank you're you, man. Well over two thousand subscribers, and <laughs> whew, yeah, I man. mean, I I, I I'm. I'm really enjoying the the um the the making the the, the shows. I, what I've tried to do is I've tried to improve it every time. So every show, I'm right. always uh, like like in my the old music days. I always feel like the last song was my best one, or you always get judged on your last song. And, and I feel yeah. I I feel like yeah, and your performance. I feel like the um the show. I I treat my show like it's on the telly. So if there's something, right. say like it was Friends on the telly or some some show that I was dying to watch and I, I wanted to see, and I never want to, I, I never want to get left um, people feeling disappointed after watching a ten minute show of mine. That's the that's the one thing that I don't want to uh, see. Now I I always like everyone. Everyone's got different tastes. So you might not like the watch that I review, but I I always try and make it. Um, entertaining enough that even if you don't like the watch you still appreciate the, the show and you know mm -hmm. and you know the segments that are coming up you know what's going to happen and you know what well, how's it going to do on the time grabber how's it going to do on the on the loom flux challenge how's it going to do on the bezel time the, tardis the time tardis <laughs> um yeah uh, and and I, I i love it i i do love doing it and i know there's not many people doing what i do with with sort of the energy that i try and give it you know, mate, but there is a reason for that because it, it makes me more marmite to um to to people looking into watches because some people just want to see the watch and I completely right. understand that. I, I I completely understand that and it and I and I and I understand um you know I 
I, I would just, I, I want to be more of a show, uh, a weekly show that maybe is on the telly. That's, that's what I've always envisioned it. And when I look back at my first shows, core cool, blimey, they're awful. But if I didn't, for me, they're awful. But if I didn't do those shows, <laughs> then I wouldn't have got to where I am now, you know? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like um, January the 1st was when my, or the start of this year was when my show started to look how I had it in my head to start with, right. you know? Can you, uh, can, for, this is for me, uh, can you do uh, uh, Kurt Santana? He's my favorite, man. Can Hi. You- uh, well, it's not me, is it? It's Kurt. Back it's not the... you, yeah, yeah. It's nice. like... I'm a... Hi, uh, I may take that out to dinner. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 lo- I tell you what, I do love doing characters. I, I really do love it. I you do. You like... do it very well, man. I, uh, I, yeah. I, I love Kurt Santana, man. <laughs> I do like taking the mic. The hair was all over the show the last episode, wasn't it? I could not control <laughs> you had like a that. Strand here and another that. strand up here. <laughs> <laughs> I could not control it. Um, uh, but I, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I, I particularly love it when there's like a bad bezel, like a Vostok, you know, you know, it's not going to be a great bezel because they're not, right. it's a friction only bezel. Right. So um, I'm, I'm going, what the hell's going on here? Um, uh, and, and I love that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, I, I, the, the Pagani one, I, the last show I did, I, I said, um, this has got more playback than my VCR. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was good, man. <laughs> and you know what? You, you actually had a troll in your comments saying something about your hair, and and, and you had a yeah. great you had a great reply saying, "Well, my my hair is naturally like that anyway," or something like that. <laughs> and that troll that troll was average Joe. I'm sorry, I, I, just, I had to, I had to. So. But yeah, yeah. You, killed, you killed me with kindness, man. So, Absolutely, yeah, yeah you, killed you, with you, kindness. You, you passed the test, you know. Um, <laughs> we have a question down here from. Glenn Reynolds. Oh, what watches you both got coming on your channels? What you got? What you got this week? So this upcoming week, um, that's a great question because I, so I don't know about you, but I have them scheduled. <laughs> I have them scheduled out like a, a couple weeks. Um, this way, I can kind of have like yeah. my life to like redo the kitchen and whatnot. Yeah. So. I'm actually going into my videos now, and I'll show you guys what I have scheduled here um, as a spoiler. So, um, <laughs> and actually, could kind of remind me of what the heck I got coming up too, because um, all right, so we have the Zenia double unboxing yeah, and review. Cool. So I have the meteorite dial, and I have the white dial. So that's coming up, I believe, tomorrow. No, that's the 25th. So this one's coming so- out Thursday. It's the Ula Diver, isn't it? The Ula. The Ula. Ula. The Ula Diver. And then tomorrow, March 22nd, I have a Las Vegas, Nevada company from the good old United States 86 cool. Leather Co. Uh, these are um, really nice straps. Uh, these are leather. They can't call them NATO because NATO is actually uh, a copyrighted name. So they actually call them the Zulu straps. Mm. Uh, very impressive and a really good price point. So uh, I did a, sh- I think it's about a five minute video on that. So guys, check That's that cool. out. What about you, my friends? Uh, well, just before I um, start, that your um, wife to be has asked, uh, where did MWC film the beginning of the apocalypse footage? <laughs> that was, it was raining at the time, and I was going to do it under a tree, but there was a little shed next to the studio, and I just thought, ah, let's just do it. And I actually realised I sat on a, I was sitting on a wasp's nest. But, oh um, wow! But it was vacated at the time. But I did sort of shit my pants a little bit, um, <laughs> uh, thinking, <laughs> thinking it might be uh, still occupied. Um, so, that, so that wasn't green screen. I thought that was green screen. No, no, no. That was actually a British shed. Um, so yeah, I like uh, Jan saying cabin, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> cabin. Yeah, no, not cabin. It's just That's a little awesome. little shed. Um, well, I put a post up on the World Bezzling Federation. <laughs> um, I, I uh, put a, um, a post up on the YouTube channel because I've been thinking about it um, to do my State of the Collection show for 2020, for 2021. 2021. And, and um, uh, I put, if I, get, if I get 50 posts, if I get 50 likes on this post that I, that I did on YouTube, I will do a um, State of the Collection show this week. And um, yeah, I've gone over it, so I've got to do it now. 
Gotcha. <laughs> uh, quick question. Perry asks, have you showed the tutor on a sale class yet? Uh, yet? I have. Yeah. If you go to my I thought you channel. did. Yeah. 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 If you go to my channel, my friend. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's the purple thumbnail. Have a look. I need a titanium bracelet for a Maritax titanium. Did I say that right? Uh, any yeah. ideas? Well, I, I've never heard of that. Yeah. Maritek. Maritek. Well, I'll um, tell you what. Maybe, maybe I can uh, use some technology here and see. Um, titanium, titanium bracelet. Mm, no, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Aftermarket titanium bracelets. The that's, a, that's a really good question. That's a that's a good business right there. If someone can come up with it right now, I don't know of any myself. Um, now I'm a uh, I'm an ambassador of uh, Straps Co. and I don't think they even make like, titanium. If I'm if I'm, mista if I'm mistaken, I may you know. But check out Straps Co. I don't think they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. They do have an awesome beads of rice brace, but that's stainless steel. Um, yeah. But I don't know. That's a great question. Um, yeah. I don't know. Sorry. We don't we don't always have the answers, and we're just gonna be honest with you. So, <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, yep. Oh, thank you, man. Can't agree more, man. I uh, appreciate that. And uh, we have another another fan of Kurt Santana, which uh, yeah, you, you, I mean, you and you've got the, you definitely have the American accent down. I I I'll tell you what, I'd like to know <clears throat> what accent I am doing. Um, what would you say? Is, is it a southern type accent or is it a I, I don't know. When I do it, I think, oh, what would my America, what would the American guys and girls think of it? I mean, it, um, it is it is a bit of an accent, uh, but it's not like so – you're not like way down south and you're no. definitely not up north. So maybe you're more central. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> that was the inspiration. I was just trying to sound like Mean Gene Oakland, really, from uh, – the WWF right. really, and uh, welcome to the World Wrestling Federation. You do it better than you do it better than Mean Gene. I have to admit. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Uh, we have another uh, good feedback from uh, Justin DC. <laughs> Very original, nothing else like it. A channel Thank that you, you watch, even with your not interested. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, and I never told you this before, but um, when I'm watching your videos, Baby Madison, she could be playing, <laughs> she could be like completely somewhere else. She comes crawling over to the phone. And so I'm watching it like this, all right. Her head, whoop, right in front of mine. Because like, it's oh. all the it's, it's all the bright colors and the and the big face. Nah, it's That's Uncle cool. Ross, man. You're. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you, everybody loves you, brother. So uh, you know, um, look, you got to be yourself, and I'm just not. I'm not you, and there's there's yeah. sometimes sometimes I I want to be a little <laughs> bit more a little bit more <laughs> silly and whatnot, and I do it in my own way. But man. Yeah. There, no one doesn't. No one doesn't like you, though, brother. I'll tell you. I, I thank you, man. I, I think if if it's forced, then it's just not. It's just not funny. It's just not right. right. It, it's not genuine. It, no, exactly. And and I am, and I am a joker. I am someone that likes to take the Mickey. I, I really am. And I and I and I I enjoy comedy. I, I really like comedy, and I really try to get. What I try and do is I try to every line that I say. I never plan any of what I say. Or, or any of the or, or any of the jokes or any something funny that I do but I right. I, I try and take every line that I speak um uh, and really look into it and say like how can we make this funny you know every time you see me is it worth seeing me that's what I try that's what I try and say to myself and um yeah I I, I love um slapstick comedy I love um awkward comedy like the office um you know with ricky gervais the, the, the british office and, and and that sort of thing and it just it keeps me entertained you know and and right. and uh saying that i don't really watch my shows and uh, it would absolutely make me cringe with <laughs> if i was to watch them but obviously i have to watch them over and over again when you, you edit have to anyway when you're editing so oh, god yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah uh so just in case watch reactions has to go now let's give him uh let's give him what he wants um, well, shall I do it with the, I did it, there's something nobody, nobody did when reviewing the Irukandji is the, uh, oh, the jellyfish moving. There you go. The Irukandji. How's that? Oh, and there he goes. That is some authentic movement right there, man. Exactly. Yeah. You, I mean, that is, look at I him go. I can't do that on mine right now because <laughs> I'm still breaking into sale clause. So it's like, oh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I, lo I love the Irukandji. 
Yeah. Do love it. It's quality. Yeah, great, great such job a, by uh, such a fun watch by, by Matt Francis. Great job. Uh, thank you very much, uh, mate. Uh, very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, love the blue and Eric Kanji. Did you get yours uh, at the 10 o'clock uh, crown? Yeah, yeah, got it at the 10 o'clock crown. The very weird. It, man. Yeah, very weird setting the time, I must admit. Yeah. But, you know, where can you get a brand that offers uh, a crown at 10 o'clock? And I just went, yes, let's go, let's do it. You know? uh, we see uh, two foam fingers in the background. Uh, let's discuss. <laughs> um well, <laughs> well where can they be from well it's only america isn't it eh? um so oh. yeah 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 they're american so the oh, one cool. this one here is a new york knicks okay so that's a knicks finger very um, nice uh and that, that's where i saw uh the knicks take on the cavaliers uh, uh when, when lebron now, was playing right lebron and he just looked like a different human being to everyone else yeah he's so above uh, everybody else isn't he yeah, yeah, but yeah. he says it though. I don't like that. You know, that's but... that's, that's the problem I have with him. He's yeah. he's cocky. He's not yeah. humble. Yeah. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of his, but I have to give credit where credit's due. Yeah, I mean, MJ, MJ was cocky, but to call himself the goat yeah. is a bit, you know. Um, and this is a Florida Marlins. That's Ooh. a Florida Marlins. So, so they were going. They were they were losing their franchise, and they were they were going to be Kaputski, the baseball team. I, right. I don't they're not called the florida marlins they're not, anymore they're not the florida marlins anymore now no but that was uh 2010 i bought that um oh, and how that cool was, is that yeah i love i love base i love american sport i absolutely love it that's really cool thank you for sharing that that's cool. uh junior i bought or i ordered the alma ama diver being shipped out the first week of april very excited to get an order on the kickstarter in october yeah i've seen that i've seen that diver that's a very cool looking diver yeah very nice very cool. Um, now, now they're the New York Nets, I believe. So I'm not. I, I used to be a big NBA fan and a big uh, baseball fan, but they're the Knicks. They're still the. I'm sure they're the Knicks. The net because the Nets and the Knicks um, played each other a couple of weeks ago, and the Nets that they've got. Um, what's his name? He used to play for the Celtics. Uh, oh, I think is it the Brooklyn? Is it yes, Brooklyn, Brooklyn now? Yeah, the Brooklyn Nets. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm like I'm into watches now. I don't even buy the basketball. <laughs> You're a bunch of just uh, money making hey. money grubbers, and uh, yeah. and the cable companies ruined it for you too. Like now you have to like pay, you know, hundreds of dollars just to get exclusive access to. Oh, man. So that that just completely ruined it for me. I, I feel exactly you know? the same with um, football with soccer yeah. back here. I, I I when I when I, when I was a kid, I used to watch Premiership football. Um, and uh, we, we used to watch it. Uh, Southampton is my team. Um, and you used to be able to go to a pub afterwards, so it's a bar, and you used to be able to drink with the players afterwards. You know, it was that type of, you know, on the same level. You know, the right. football players were on the same level as, you know, us working class, you know, type guys. But nowadays, it's just, just a different gravy now. They're, 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 they're completely detached from their fans. It's, right. it's it's incredible. It's, not, it's, not 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 only in it's not their fault. It's definitely not their fault. It's what it's what um you know people pay for this and right. Yeah, yeah it's a shame. Like when I was a, when I was a uh, youngster, uh, one of my my dream job was to become a major league baseball player. And uh, baseball was so much different then. I used to wait after the games. So you know while like everybody else was fighting traffic, I would be there with my baseball. And you know what? I actually still have it here. Would you Would you like to see? What was your team? What's your team? The f well, you're wearing it. Where is it's it? It's the Phillies. Yeah, of course, it's the yeah. Phillies. Yeah, where is it? Where'd it go? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it here. There we go. Of course, it's the Phillies. So, so that's not changed. That's awesome. I love the fact that. Yeah, this I actually have three team. baseballs right in front of me um, in my display case that I used to get autographs when I was a kid. So while everybody that's else was fighting cool. traffic, I would wait. Um, right outside the stadium, and the baseball players would come up, and they'd be signing away. And man, I was in I was in cloud nine, man. I mean, these yeah. are some of my heroes, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, that's, that's that's amazing. I yeah, I I love baseball. I do love baseball. I I um, it was a long game. Baseball was a long game. It is. Yeah. Um, from what I remember watching it, but it's just being there and the music and um, I think I had every single food that you could have at the time uh that you know that you could get from the aisles i, I love eat i love snacks so i uh, yeah i just loved it all love it we have uh 
D's nuts in the uh, Peppy D's nuts. This guy's funny, man. You ever, <laughs> you ever have him in your comment section? No, no. Pepe this guy, D's nuts. I, this guy actually grew up near me. I ne- I don't even know the guy. I never met him, but uh, wow. we we did talk on the side, and I realized that he actually grew up around my area. So he wow. grew up he grew up watching the Phillies games and buying a soft pretzel, shopping carts in the park a lot, where they charge you like, you know. Ten dollars for for a pretzel, you know, and after you just pay thirty dollars to park, and it's it's crazy, man. Uh, so, Janny Eileen has a great idea. When you come to the states, we got to take you to a Phillies game, man. Yeah, that'd be cool. All that'd right, and, cool. and you got you got to bring your blanket, all right? I'll be in my element there. Uh, yeah, that'd be wicked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank everybody for joining me, and um, I, I do want to do one thing before we leave, um, and. This is a buddy of mine on Instagram, and I want to share his. Uh, I, I don't think he's on right now, but he was on earlier. His name is Trap Vision, and you, you, I, I'm huge on charity. I love charity, and I want everybody to follow this guy, Trap Vision 3D. I want you to reach out to him. Just do me a favor. If you do nothing else today, I don't care if you subscribe to my channel. If it, I would rather you. Of course, I care if you subscribe to my channel, but I would rather you go to Trap Vision and DM him and say, I would like to donate a watch to your charity, which is for the disabled veterans. Um, I think it's a really, really awesome charity. And he's actually going to uh, auction off these watches and all the proceeds are going to go towards the veterans. So, yeah, so if, we'll you could, if you guys could do me a favor, reach out to him and say, hey, I want to help out. Average Joe sent me over. Um, I would truly, truly appreciate that. So shout out to Trap Vision 3D on Instagram. So cool. Russell, my friends, I want to thank you again for being on the channel. And no, thank you, my friend. It's a, it's always an honor. Thank you so much, my friend. And um can we can we put it in the books for next month? We absolutely should. Yep. Yeah, yeah right. that'd be cool. We'll so do I, that. Anyone in the chat that wants to uh, watch us again, uh, we'll go over to uh, <laughs> the Mad Watch Collectors channel next time, and uh, we'll definitely have a definitely a buffet of fun topics. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. So, uh, you mind staying on, and uh, we'll, we'll chat a little bit after. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. Okay, yeah. all right, buddy. Well, give us your uh, give us your your uh, your tagline. Oh, here we go. You ready? Yeah. You, you sure you got the um quick buttons first? Here's here's a quick button. Here we go. I'll see you in a tick, tick, tick. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today on Average Joe Watch Reviews. Mad Watch Collector. Go check him out. Please subscribe to his channel. If you guys like comedy, you want someone who doesn't take himself so seriously, a very light-hearted watch channel. Go to my buddy, Russell, the Mad Watch Collector. And until next time, always remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other. And I'll see you guys next time on Average Joe Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.